Hi, I'm Chris Lewis. I'm the author of Too Fast to Think. I'm in London's Science Museum. I'm surrounded by all sorts of devices which have made us go faster. It's a place full of ideas. Every device in this room had to be imagined by somebody. Somebody had a eureka moment for every one of these devices that are around us. And the speed that came off each of these ideas as they accelerated our thinking contributed to the next idea and made the next idea come sooner than it otherwise would have done. As the expectation of speed has grown, so has our own ability to cope with it. It's made us deal with information faster, it's allowed us to be more productive, and it's allowed us to communicate better. But as the pace has accelerated and the overload has increased, the information systems and the speed at which they work have begun to control us. But we have to ask a question now. We created these inventions to serve us, but are we serving them now? When we move too fast to think, we damage our own creativity, we damage our own health, and we also damage our own productivity. We create the illusion of moving fast, but the reality of actually moving slower. We fill our lives full of news and information overload. In actual fact, we're becoming less aware of the world around us. We can communicate more, but we converse less. One of the greatest thinkers that's illustrated here in the Science Museum is Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was a man that believed in wasting time. Now, if that sounds like a strange thing to you, imagine the situation with Einstein. He would take walks along the seafront at Ostend, where he was a humble patent clerk. But he described creativity as the residue of time wasted. How often do you waste time? How often do you actually deliberately go out of your way to waste time? With all of the mobile devices that we've got today, we don't need to waste time, and therefore we don't. We don't actually spend any time simply doing nothing. Einstein was excellent proof of the fact that when you're doing nothing, you're still doing something. Standing behind me is George Stevenson's rocket. Think of it as an internet mark one. This is what we created in order to move things around faster in 1829. Getting on for 200 years later, this behind me has actually evolved into something that's moving at the speed of light. We invented this to serve us. In the 21st century, there's a danger that the things that we created, we are now having to serve. Too Fast to Think launches in October this year. In some respects, it's a product of the 21st century, but it's also a product of the 20th and 19th century as well, because it looks back at history, but it also looks forward into the future. And it talks about creativity. It talks about where creativity comes from, what it is, how it works, and it talks about you. It talks about where you are when you get your best ideas. It talks about your productivity, it talks about your health, it talks also about your view of the world. I do hope you'll enjoy reading Too Fast to Think and that you will spread the ideas that are in the book further. Thanks.